the hell he's doing. Come on, bro, you're backing up a small ass trailer. <laughs> What's going on guys? We are here. What the fuck? I don't know what the hell he's doing. Come on bro, you're backing up a small ass trailer. This fucking guy. He's backing up a small trailer. And, I mean... Oh shit, I left something on the thing that fell. Oh, I left a couple of things on the thing that fell. Anyways, uh, we are in Emerson, Georgia, I think it is. The Love's here, exit 283 on 75 South. I stood here last night because uh, I could have made it yesterday. I could have made it yesterday to um, to the what you call it to the to the drop off to the receiver, but um, they stopped delivery at twelve o'clock because I called and I asked. That's like, yo, like I can make it. I drove like about like almost five hundred miles, just short of five hundred miles, and I still had like. Probably like about like 495 or something like that. And I could have freaking, I could have made it. I had three hours left on my clock. I had three hours left. So I was like, fuck, let me go make it, you know? But uh, apparently I couldn't, so it is what it is. You see the... I just kind of slowed down because he needs to get off of my ass. He's like riding right on my ass, bro. Yes, I couldn't deliver early, and I wasn't gonna go to the uh, Transport America terminal. I wasn't gonna go to the Transport America terminal to um, what you call it? To what is that called? To park there because um, it was going south, like way more south. It was closer. To the uh, uh, to the to the delivery, then here, but it just made no sense because I would have had to go south. And instead of going south, like I would have to take 285 going east and go south instead of taking 285 west or taking 285 west to go more south. But instead, I could just take 285 East and get to 85 North, and the Transport America terminal is not off of 285, or off of 85, if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, all right, I'm gonna check in with you guys later. I'm gonna eat some breakfast. I got my uh, bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Man, McDonald's needs to come back with the bacon, egg, and cheese bagels, or the steak, egg, and cheese bagels, whichever one is fine. I don't, I don't, I don't care, I like both of them. But, uh, all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're about one mile away. Um, man, I'm so ready to get the hell out of Atlanta. All right, this morning traffic, people don't know how to drive over here. It's fucking ridiculous. 
I'm ready to get the hell out of here. After this, we're going to Locust Grove, Georgia, and then we'll be going to um, Jacksonville, Florida. And hopefully they give me uh, something going out west. Got me out of this East Coast, man. I've been here doing these smaller East, East Coast, Midwest runs. I need to get the hell out of here. Send me somewhere where there is no traffic. <laughs> Put me in a different time zone, baby. to get the hell out of here, that's for sure. Alright, it says it's coming up. I did look at the satellite. It's not like a huge warehouse place. So, um, let's see, that's Cintas. Alright, so it should be this warehouse right here which will be this entrance right here. And I wonder if there's another, I don't remember from the satellite if I had another entrance. So it is what it is. We'll just come this way and turn around over there. Pretty sure it's gonna be one of these docks. So let's uh, put all these hazards on and just uh, of these dock doors and kind of just chill here for a little bit. Go find the, the receiving doors. Yeah, I don't really want to block these doors, but I mean, kind of have to. All right, guys, let me go check in and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got our door. It's either 19, 20, or 21, and I noticed that 19 and 20 were both open, and I'm kind of right in front of them, so I'm gonna redo my setup, or I'm gonna set up, actually not redo because that wasn't set up to begin with so we're just gonna back up here all right so you just told me door 19 so let's just get set up open my doors All right, 
see what she's doing. I cut it too much, so I can already tell it's gonna be too close. much to the right so we're just gonna keep going to the left here and then cut it to the right just straighten it out make sure we don't hit anybody's car and back up to the right So we're lined up, but we need like about another inch to the right. All right, and then from there, I should be able to guide it in. They didn't tell me I had to slide my tandems. And because this is a three series trailer, I'm not going to. All right, so we're lined up. Perfect. If you're ever backing up and you need to back up to a dock, you can kind of see between the door, there's a little gap between the doors when you open them that you can barely see the, uh, the yellow lines on the dock door, on the dock. All right, that's off the rope, guys. See you guys later. I might uh, just go ahead and edit a video right now. All right, guys, we got unloaded pretty quickly. About like 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes maybe. Maybe the most like 45 minutes. Uh, I don't know, it was pretty quick. Uh, didn't seem like I spent much time there. Now we're gonna go to Locust Grove, Georgia. We're picking up a load at Home Depot. And we will be dropping it off in uh, Jacksonville, Florida at a UPS. Um, it's only about 300 miles maybe I think the whole run is. Like 300 miles, 400. So I should be able to do it all today. Um, I'm about to kill 60 miles uh, on my way to the pickup. And then from there it should be like 200 miles or something like that. So uh, we're gonna make it there in one day hopefully i can make it at a decent time because if not there is no parking in jacksonville um uh, actually you know what we have a yard in jacksonville but i really don't want to go to the yard you know i'm gonna get a shower there it's just a drop it's just a drop yard like a drop uh drop lot so we got a couple of spaces there and it's a it's a muddy lot and i really don't want to dirty my truck i mean my truck is already dirty but I'd prefer not to dirty my truck. If not, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'll just wash it and say, fuck it. Uh, I'm not supposed to wash it for like another two weeks because like I told you guys, I do wash my truck um, every two weeks. I rotate it between company wash and my wash. Company wash, I pay. Company wash, I pay. Like that, I keep a constant, a constant clean truck. I mean, uh, ideally, I'd like to wash it once a week, but uh, that's a lot of money on my behalf. That's like 40 bucks, call it about 50 bucks a week, 150 bucks a month, uh, just on washes. So, 
I can do 40 bucks a month. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's not like I pay, I have bills or anything like that, you know? I mean, I pay my phone bill, my car insurance and stuff like that, but I am still looking to save, you know, money. I, I want to get my own apartment, my own house and stuff like that. So just because I don't have any mil bills doesn't mean that I should be out here you know, blowing it on freaking truck washers, that's for sure. Although I do like a clean truck. I noticed the last time I got it washed that the paint was chipping. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's, what we're doing about that, to be honest. Because it looks ugly, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I gotta get in the left because I do gotta make this left up here. I wonder if I can make it from the... Is it this left? No, it's not this left. This is the next left. So yeah, guys. It's a, it's a pretty nice day. It's 57 degrees right now, so I'm riding windows down. Well, not right now. I got them halfway down, so it won't be that that windy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? saying? But uh, I do want to give a shout out to all of uh, all of the new subscribers I've been getting. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. Uh, if you guys just found me, or if you guys uh, came over from Dave's channel, I really appreciate it. And shout out to you, Dave. I appreciate you giving, you know, making that happen for me. We got 500 subscribers right now last I checked on maybe like 507 or something like that so uh, we're on the countdown to 1,000 subscribers and we will have a giveaway for a uh, thousand subscribers we'll do um, hmm, let's see how about a uh, hundred bucks yeah we'll do a hundred a hundred dollars giveaway um, not much, but I mean, especially in the times we're in right now, you can see how long I'm taking it. I was already past it, so. Um, yeah, guys, so we'll do a hundred dollars giveaway for a thousand subscribers. So we're on the prowl, baby. I guess that prowl, like when somebody's prowling. Like I'm crawling, poop, like oh uh, whatever. We're on the hunt to 1,000. There we go. I, I gotta stop using. I got. I got. I mean, I try to use words that I don't use on a normal basis, but I guess that that shit didn't work out right there. But anyhow, we're gonna get to this Home Depot. Hopefully, it doesn't give me an issue like this Home Depot in, in Joliet, Illinois gave me that I couldn't find the entrance. I was like about 30 minutes going around in circles and getting stuck and all that kind of bold shit which was not fun at all guys it was not fun i tell you that it was not fun at all and uh huh, funny story i actually was talking to dave after that and i was telling him about it and uh, he goes, man, did you watch my video where I was there just the other day? It was probably like about a couple of weeks ago. And I said, yeah, I watch all your videos, but come on, bro. I don't remember shit like that. Like, you know? But, man, that shit was a shit show. Now I know. But, uh, yeah. It was not a fun time. So, uh. We're gonna we're gonna try to get out of here as soon as possible. I do not want to be in Atlanta anywhere near Atlanta. I'm going 60 miles south. So I'll catch you guys later.
matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life. Underneath it all, it's actually all right.